The President has asked for two minutes. Citizen of this land, my blessed nation. Together we stand. So make me tell you about saying it. Ladies, take a step to your left so that you're out of the sun. Like Valencia said. 
Because you're right, my yeah. lady. No fee for ballin' for the hills and man, the valleys and the trees But they have them in abundance, Lord The rest of man, they pan the bees, climbing up the jelly tree One for you and one for me So we could have cool, you know Cool And the rally for rise Cry and light the fire, bubble up the rice We full of pride and we realize So don't this, I so don't this But make me tell you about St. Kitts And Nevis And the nicest place on the ramp road here Man, the pretty man Like Valencia said now nah, sell out my country, yeah. My little paradise, yeah. I am a product of the island. island. I know it's a nice love. Wouldn't change if you know I don't know, no. The girls them pretty like the pussy and a flow of them. They get a fatty H back, make you not know, tough again. Kim Collins put me and the map and now we boss again. The MVP I say balance and now we up again. Whether you're black or brown, it's getting man proud, so just sing it loud with me, yeah, yeah. We could have one cent in the bank, man still I give tongue. Say kiss, I need this, at the nicest place on a ramp road, yeah, man, if it is, like what then you shall say. Now I sell out the country, yeah. My little paradise, yeah. I am a product of the island. My little paradise, yeah. Wouldn't change if you know what I know, I know Where I'm from, oh where I'm from Them say we full of teeth and we full of gun, man If you clean up your backyard before you watch mine We not have no missiles in the sky Just children under the sun I pray for hundred years of blessings Our history shows us That we were made to overcome Take it, leave it At the nicest place But I run from here And defend it Like a lunch I say Now I say no to the country My little paradise, yeah I am a product of the island I know it's a nice place Wouldn't change if you know what I know Getting much older. Remember the first time I saw you. I smile and you smile too. Remember when I asked you to come over? You said no. Okay. And another day. I couldn't wait till tomorrow. Just to see your face. A side I can't replace, a time can't erase. When love comes knocking on your door, I hope you're ready, I hope you're ready, my love. I'm knocking on your door, I hope you're ready, I hope you're ready. One day you finally came over You so scared You didn't want to let your heart free I was at a last of words And you were just like me Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen We are here this afternoon to signal the start of what is expected to be a very exciting league. It is being dubbed the first federal credit union federal league. And I pause here to say a hearty thank you to our sponsors, the first federal credit union. I will be your chairperson this afternoon and I am J.D. Keynes, the public relations officer of the St. Kitts Nevis Netball Association. Be without any further ado, allow us to call forward Mrs. Laverne Dublin Collins to do the invocation. Can we stand for prayer? Almighty God and Heavenly Father, we use this moment to give you glory and praise. We ask your blessings on this year's Netball League. Help us today to honor you in all we do and say on the court of play. May our love and worship of your 
supersede all things in our hearts as we play and compete. Grant us the strength, endurance, courage, and agility to play in a manner which by their words and action is pleasing to you. May we enter this league, Lord, in a spirit of sportsmanship and with a respect for all, even those of the opposing teams. We ask you to bless and guide our referees, our coaches, and all game officials. Thank you for the joy of the sports of netball. And help us to embrace this event and to release all the training, commitment, and skills in play. As we conduct each day of play, you are forever in our hearts and thoughts. Lord, bless the organizers and those who have provided financial support and technical assistance to ensure the success of this league. Keep us under the protection of your son and help us to be aware of his presence with us in this league. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much, Mrs. Dublin Collins. At this time, we will have the national anthem of St. Kitts and Nevis. Okay, and I'm sure there are some lusty, lusty, vo lusty voices in the audience. And so together, we'll sing the national anthem of St. Kitts and Nevis. After two, one, two. the start of the first federal credit union federal netball league where we are seeing teams from both St. Kitts and Nevis. The games for this league will be alternated on both islands and we are expected to see matches between or among rather Coscab Coca-Cola Shamrock Netball Club. Revivers, yes, let's hear it for Coscab Coca-Cola Shamrock Netball Club. Revivers. Liamiga Housing Development Aquaballers. Newtown Netball Club. And Saddlers Ball Stars. And I pause here to offer apologies on behalf of Saddlers. They will be participating in the league, but they were unable to be here for the opening, for the match pass and opening ceremony but they did send the apologies. Ladies and gentlemen, we expect a keenly contested league with all of the teams and clubs that I previously mentioned. At this point in time, I will invite the president of the St. Kitts Nevis Netball Association, Mr. Dion French, to come forward and offer brief remarks. President French.
Good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor and privilege for me to be here and be with you today at the official opening ceremony of the inaugural First Federal Credit Union Federal League. History never looked like history when you are living it. And today, we are celebrating history. 2023 is a very historical year for netball. 60 years ago, the St. Kitts Netball Association was formed. 50 years ago, the St. Kitts Netball team won for the first time the Caribbean tournament. It was 50 years ago, the St. Kitts and Nevis Netball Association was formed. 45 years ago, we repeated winning of the Caribbean Netball Tournament. Netball in St. Kitts and Nevis was at its pinnacle. We were forced to be reckoned with. We were making waves on the regional and international scene. If you were to interview any of those young ladies today about their preparation, they would say it took discipline, commitment, and it meant never ever missing a practice because your spot was never secured. There was always another female vying to make the squad. At this moment, it is with a sad heart that I ask us to stand for us one minute in silence for the 1973 and 1978 coach that brought the championship to St. Kitts. Mr. Earl Clark, who this week transitioned, we'll have a moment in silence. Thank you. Mr. Clark was a strong believer in fitness and ensured that the team was physically, emotionally, and spiritually fit. In fact, one of the squad, squad members told me that it was because of Mr. Clark she still run on a regular basis. And this was because of the training she received as a squad member under Mr. Clark. It is because of persons such as Jill Musgrave, Marcella Liburd, Dolores De Hobson, Joan Tuckett, Thelma Phillip, and Jennifer Byron. Today we stand in the presence of netball legends, those who are still with us and those who transitioned. I therefore take this opportunity to speak to the Minister of Sports through his permanent secretary and ask that cabinet honor our netballers to give them their flowers while they are alive. I am also suggesting for the 40th anniversary of independence, these extraordinary young ladies be recognized for their sterling contribution to the sport of netball. The Prime Minister 
Honorable Dr. Terence Drew once stated, if you are not seated at the table, you will be on the table. St. Kitts Nevis Netball Association is poised and ready to sit at the table and discuss netball and ways to improve netball in the Federation. We are open for dialogue. This tournament today would never be possible if it was not for our corporate sponsor, whose logo says, we said yes. And I take this opportunity to thank the management and staff of First Federal Corporate Union for their sponsorship. Ladies and gentlemen, netballer, fans and well-wishers of the sport, I encourage you all to support who support you. And I encourage you on Tuesday to go out and open an account at First Federal Corporate Credit Union. Be because if you are not banking at the First Federal Credit Union, you are throwing your money away. I say this because this year they paid a dividend, a dividend that is surpassed all other. And most of the members are saying the dividend is not just good, but it's sweet. In conclusion, as we head into the first Federal Credit Union, Federal League 2023, I encourage all players to make the best of every game offer because it is from this league a national squad will be selected for training whether you emerge victorious or otherwise the very experience of participating in the competition will allow you to build character while striving for sport excellence finally while we have all pulled through the pandemic of the past three years and come out stronger. The battle is not yet over. Do continue to practice good personal hygiene. Be socially responsible by staying home if you are unwell and look out for one another. Let us ensure that the safety and well being of our friends and teammates. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. You're all looking amazing, actually. Okay, so we'll swiftly move on. Um, thank you, Mr. French, for your remarks. So at this time, I would like to invite Ms. Serafina Osborne, representative of our sponsors, First Federal Credit Union, to give remarks. Good afternoon, all, and I wish to adopt the protocol that has already been established. As Mr. French would have given so much information on First Federal, there's not much for me to say. But First Federal Credit Union is elated to support St. Kitts Nevis Netball Association for the second consecutive year out of a successful resuscitation of netball in St. Kitts and Nevis in 2022. We pride ourselves as being the first and the only credit union to have a presence in both St. Kitts and also in Nevis. And in doing so, we are keen to sponsoring federal initiatives such as this. Further, First Federal commends the St. Kitts Nevis Netball Association, executives and representatives from the Netball Nevis and Netball St. Kitts for daring to create a functional partnership model in the federation that works. First Federal Credit Union, its management, staff, board of directors, and various committee members are grateful for this collaboration, which allows us to make a meaningful contribution 
to the development of sports, and by extension, to the development of women in sports. Sports can be a safe space in, in which girls and women can cultivate identities and hone the skills that are necessary for success, not only on this court, but also in the court of life. We would like to congratulate the netballers, all those who are present this afternoon, in a clad of their uniform. Ladies, you're looking fantastic. I would also like to congratulate the St. Kitts Nevis Netball Association for their efforts in developing netball in the Federation. And finally, best wishes to the teams, their coaches, their supporters, and sponsors in participating in the first federal credit union, Federal Netball League. Ladies and gentlemen, may the best team win. Thank you, Ms. Osborne. We now move on to the next remarks. Unfortunately, the Minister of Sport will not be here, but in his place we have Ms. Valencia Snyder, Permanent Secretary in the Minister of Sport et al. to give remarks on his behalf. Please welcome her to the podium. Good afternoon, everybody. Let me bring apologies for the Honorable Samuel Duggins. He had an unplanned engagement that took him away from this afternoon, but he did trust that he would try and make it before the evening is out. And Mr. French, I got your messages. They were received, and I'll take them back to the minister. But Mr. French knows that I understand his passion. He speaks to me fairly often enough, and he knows that I try to do whatever I can to assist. It is true that more can be done and more should be done, and we endeavor to try. Yes, 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 good neighbor. And we endeavor to try to do all that we can to ensure that you are not only, that you're given a fair opportunity to display your skills and your talents. Madam Chairperson, allow me to adopt the protocol that has already been established. Let me extend heartfelt congratulations to the Executive Committee and members of the St. Kitts Nevis Netball Association on your sterling efforts to ensure that the sport of netball remains vibrant in our Federation. Let there be no doubt that the Minister and the Ministry and Department of Sports are very appreciative of the sacrifices that you endure, especially at times like this, when resources are limited and somewhat difficult to access. It is therefore in this spirit that I extend further congratulations on behalf of our minister, who wishes you the very best for a successful staging of this tournament. We begin today and a very important milestone for netball across the Federation, the inaugural federal netball tournament. This tournament is a step in the right direction to generate excitement once again in the sport, while also providing a continued avenue for the holding of skills by our talented netballers. It also aims to showcase those skills across the Federation by featuring teams from both islands in this Federal League. Kudos to the organizers. I said to you, you netballers in your, you know, your gear, I remember my days of playing netball. I played netball throughout my high school years, and I had one season in Coca-Cola Shamrock on the Miss Jill Archibald, but I got injured. I think I remember we were playing against Kayon, and I'm, I think I'm rather tall. And the young lady, about half my height, 
just about half my height. I was playing, I, I used to play like goal shoot because, you know, they think your arms are long so you can just put the ball there. And I, she was galling me. And for some reason, I don't remember her jumping that high, but I did not remember anything else for the game because I was totally knocked unconscious and I decided that was it for me. And I gave up the netball, but I did enjoy my short stint playing the sport. So I said to you, you will be representing your team this afternoon in this competition. Seize the opportunity to excel on the court with hopes of gaining selection to represent your country, your community, the federation in the upcoming regional championships. There is no greater honor for any sportsman or sportswoman than that of representing your country, your community, yourselves at the highest level. However, for you to ascend to that pinnacle, the pinnacle of the sport, you must be disciplined in your training, disciplined in your gameplay, and disciplined in your character traits. You must learn to be a team player and one who thinks about what is best for the team and not individual stardom. In decades past, and President would have he would have alluded to it, St. Kitts and Nevis proved to the world that although we are small in size, that is not a hindrance to our success. In the 1970s, we were dominant in Caribbean netball and secured Caribbean titles twice. I stand to be corrected. Several, let's just use the word several. We also had an impressive international record and were admired for our remarkable abilities while playing against some of the best teams in the world. Although those glorious days of being on top has left us momentarily, we still hold our heads high because one day we will experience those fortunes again. For us to elevate our standings, it would take a strong partnership between the associations, the government, the private sector, the clubs, and the players. Government alone cannot be the answer. The association alone will not be the answer. Sponsorship is needed, but, even, but not even that alone is the answer. It will take the talents of our coaches, the skills of our players, the enhancement and upkeep of our facilities, and the management of a sustained netball league to revive and re-energize the sport of netball across St. Kitts and Nevis. We do recognize that more needs to be done and, remain, and we remain committed to the physical upgrades that are needed here at the Pam Tyson Netball Complex. The Ministry of Sports wants to undertake a comprehensive overhaul of the complex to modernize it in structures and operations. We'll continue to work to lobby for the additional funding to ensure that some of this becomes a reality. In, in the meantime, I want to applaud the generous donations ex extended by the main sponsor of the tournament, First Federal Corporate Credit Union. Your efforts to assist in the revitalization of the sport are highly commendable. And generally, your decision to sponsor the tournament and to be a valued partner of the association is a true example of what private-public partnerships can do to transform the lives of people through sports. During the following weeks of this tournament, I want to assure the organizing committee that the Department of Sports will do all within our power to facilitate your efforts. We are invested in the success of the tournament and your success will also be our success. Once again, congratulations and best wishes for a safe and successful tournament. Thank you, Ms. Snyder.
Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Sport et al. At this time, we're going to have the inspections, the team inspections. So can I ask the Permanent Secretary to come forward, President of Netball and Miss Jennifer Nero to come forward to do the inspections. Thank you for the team inspections. We'll now move on to the league declared open, and I will ask Mrs. Jennifer Nero from the St. Kitts Nevis Olympic Committee, Women in Sports Desk Coordinator, to come forward to do the declaration. Thank you. Good afternoon to everyone. Wow. I mean, it is such a fantastic day, and every time I hear Miss Pamela Tyson's name, and I hear all of the different names of all of my colleagues and players. And I see a former president, Julie Hanley, is out there, Firebird. And it's very touching. It is such a pleasure to be here with you ladies because I know this tournament will help you guys to grow. We've been through it, and it's necessary. And I'm so happy that the PS for sport is here speaking of the various things that they're willing to do to see to it that netball gets back on track. So we're going to give a round of applause because you're going to hold us that. <laughs> like a good neighbor, that's correct. But um, I'm going to be here throughout the league because I'm excited as to what's going to be happening. I might be one of the teams. We can, we can talk. So on behalf of the St. Kitts and Nevis Olympic Committee Women in Sports Commission, the 1973 and the 1978 Netball Championship teams, the St. Kitts and Nevis Netball Association, it gives me great pleasure to declare the first Federal Credit Union Credit um, Federal League open. So let the games begin. <laughs> OK, are we all ready? Can I hear the audience give some, yes, come on, raise your voices, give the girls some encouragement. So the first game is Revivers versus Coca-Cola Shamrocks. So if ladies, if you get yourselves ready, and good luck. <laughs> 